It was June of 2014 when then 15-year-old Raul Calderon and Tiriano crossed the border illegally into Laredo, Texas. Five months later, he was released to the custody of a sponsor living in Maryland. Fast forward to 2023, Carl Daron and Tiriano, then 24 years old, charged with sexually assaulting a minor family member. This April, he was convicted and sentenced to six years in prison. But the judge suspending that sentence, setting him free on probation, despite a detainer from ICE. I'm really not surprised just because of what I have experienced firsthand. Tammy Noble knows firsthand about the dangers of illegal immigrants being released. You took away my child. You took away her future, our future together. Police say her 20-year-old daughter, Kayla Hamilton, was sexually assaulted and killed by a 17-year-old MS-13 gang member in 2022, who also entered the country illegally and who also was turned over to a sponsor. They've already broken the law by coming here illegally, but you're treating them like they're above American citizens. Noble says learning of Calderon and Tiriano's release opens old wounds. You cannot just let them go. Like, what makes you think it's okay to let them go and not be held accountable for their crime? Her daughter's alleged killer is set to stand trial later this month. I am so afraid of that. And despite DNA evidence and a long list of charges. First degree murder, premeditation, first degree murder during the commission of a felony, robbery, First degree rape, second degree rape. Noble fears, like Carl Daron and Tiriano, her daughter's killer, could walk free, never to be seen again. The way that everyone is treating these criminal, these illegal aliens that are criminals, the way they're being treated, I am so afraid that he is going to walk away from this and be able not to be punished for his crime. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.